Need something? Yeah, what? You got the money. Or the goods. Really? You? Okay, sure. First, get on out of here because this isn't a recruitment station. Seriously, check out one of the mission boards if you want to run cargo for us. Jobs are for whatever's listed. And if running cargo's not your thing, then that's too bad because that's what we've got. If you, uh, find anything else, make sure you bring it to me. We set up one close to because you deserve the best. We are the Emporium. And you have arrived. The perfect marriage. Here at Stroud, I want my first name instead of the Retro's firing. Orbit stabilized. Problem? If you're looking for a weapon, I've got you covered. Take a look. Everyone needs supplies. Suppose that's a good thing. Well, all kinds of things. What are you looking for?
Sure, Laredo makes some good guns, but if you want a range of manufacturers to choose from, my shop will serve you better. You seem all right. Here's my selection. Council of Governors meet in our very own accusing. A man should provide for his family, not drag them down along with him. I've got to do better. Thank God. I, I thought... I thought the Shaw Gang was going to kill all the hostages in the bank. You were amazing. Thank you. We wouldn't have made it without you. Listen, I, I have nothing. Less than nothing. My family moved here from Sidonia, hoping for a better life. <laughs> Sometimes I just feel cursed. And I... I could live with that if it was just me. But Simone? And little Liv? So many people here look past my family being UC and are just like that. Kind. A real sense of community. I just need a job and we could be happy here. Sorry, I... Uh, you should feel good. Super good about what you did at Galbank. You want to talk about anything? I just need a real chance. But there... We've been given as much charity as I can stomach. Without the low house... I mean, there's something. But it's a hell of a thing to ask. As dark as things are, there are so many good people out there. Simone, my wife, has got a cousin. Milena Exelrod. Truthfully, I never much cared for Milena. But she runs freight, and I know her routes sometimes take her this way. Milena's family. Might be she'd do something for her kin. I'm looking for a job, and I'll do anything. Well, anything legal. Milena's United Colonies, like us, and I know she's got problems of her own with Aquila City. <sighs> you are an answer to our prayers. Milena called Simone yesterday. I'm pretty sure she's still in the system. Just giving me any hope. It's a lot. You have a nice day now.
Where are we off to this time, Cap? doesn't get the juices flowing. You're doing it wrong. <sighs> it's supposed to be safe around here, but Cheyenne has always been just a giant bastard to me. Uh, <clears throat> unless you're a native. In which case, oh my god, I love what you've done with the place. Ha! I knew it! I knew it! Damon should have told me. Her and Marco are so damned proud. I'd love to help them out. Might be I've got a <laughs> checkered history with the fine city of Aquila. If you clear up any lingering hard feelings, then I could resume doing business there. I'd set up Stick Up As Marco as my official importer. Then wins all around. Well, two paths I see. The trade authorities got a fixer named Tom Starrett. 
we might be able to facilitate things. Or Mayor Cartwright. God, that windbag. Well, <laughs> if he'd take a sorry, that would work. Fat chance. Either way, I expect credits will be on the line. On the back end, I could afford to give you a taste of the action. Not sure it'll cover the fees. You're brave. I mean, obviously, with all the yoo-boo out there. Marco doesn't deserve you. But Simone, she's one of the good ones. You square things away. Just let Marco know. Separation, Captain. Perfect. I think I got the... what do you call it? Nobody's allowed outside the city walls anymore. I feel like the ghosts of the Hassanovs are finally at rest. You're standing on one of the oldest inhabited planets in the settled systems. History runs deep here. Milena Axelrod? I wished I'd never heard that name again. She's a menace. She punched me in the face. Can you imagine? Why would you want to let her back here? What? Oh, that... that's terrible. Listen, I feel for the uh, Jansons. If it was just the fisticuffs, I could look the other way. But we caught her smuggling red-handed. She's been blacklisted for good reason. But legally, if you pay off a bounty, I can't stop her from coming back. But we'll be watching her. You'd go that far for her? 
Fine. Fine. She can come back. I just hope you don't regret it. I did, last time I trusted her. I've been helping out my mom with doctor stuff. It's hard, so... I hope Milena can help us out. If you make the trip to her and turn up nothing, I'll feel terrible. Milena contacted me. She's making me her official importer. I'm not sure how much it pays, but I'll take it. You have no idea what you've done. I figured it might be something like that. I'll make sure to keep my distance from any of that. I can't wait to tell Simone. This is the first ray of sunshine we've seen in years. Simone baked the cake. We looked around for you. But honestly, it's probably good we didn't find you. You're out there a lot, right? In space? Bailey's on thin ice. One more mistake and she's out of a job. Feel free to read. This is a haven for all that love letters.
need to be smarter, better in the way that they actually You're in the Vanguard, right? Hey, thanks for your service. Nice to meet you. I'm Mr. Tate, and you have the look of a newcomer. Welcome to Aquila City. I don't suppose you're in the market for real estate. If so, then look no further. In the heart of the Free Star Collective, who wouldn't? I have two properties for sale. This one here is a refurbished colonial manor in the heart of the core. I also have a more modest one bedroom in Midtown. Any interest in them? It's my favorite listing I've had in years. Spacious in the core itself. I took great pains to get all the approvals, so the neighbors should be no problem. It's historic and spacious. Oh my, so much space. And the price is a veritable bargain. I can't say I'm surprised. As rare as properties like this are, rarer still is the buyer who can afford it. But you do take care. I love my job. So many memories of happy homeowners. Wait, before you go, my instinct says you're a person who knows how to work with their hands, or in this case, heavy equipment. Are you familiar with mining lasers? Excellent. There are so many in the stretch, living in terrible conditions. The Low House and I are working together to make cheap, affordable housing. But the land we want to build on has hard stone that needs to be cleared. And it truly is the best cause. Once you clear the land, we'll be one step closer to changing some lives for the better.
Four walls, a roof, floor. My manor in the Corps has been approved by both the Mayor and the Historical Committee. A pleasure to see you again. I don't suppose this time you're here to buy property. Marvelous. One step closer. I can't wait to tell Miss Wolf. I know it's not much, but this is well earned. Kila City is really the heart of the Freestar Collective. You know, I went to chef school. All ears. See anything interesting today? Ready for takeoff in
troubles I was in I felt neon nights with women By the I rest my skin There was no gamble but enough To think I would never win But I wanna go home I wanna go home I wanna go home And go back home again Always happy to meet a stranger. Hope my singing was to your liking. That's the way of it, isn't it? Space travel for many is a solitary and, frankly, boring pursuit. Sprinkled with a dollop of oh shit moments. <laughs> Afraid my ship's got the next jump plotted in, so I'm away. Fair travels!
my former captain died, I knew my days with the fleet were marching to the cliff's end. I was already considered an old jack-o'-bones, scaring the new rooks on the fact that I was still alive. <laughs> Grim's laughing reminder that most of them would make it to my age. Tossing my youth away on gutting haulers for the fleet was one thing, but watching another generation doing the same, knowing where the end was for them, my mind started clocking hours on the point of it all. And that's when the beauty of the blackest sea started to catch me for the first time. Humanity's jaunt into the stars could use a friendlier meeting than gun and blade. And who could do better good out there than someone who had seen the darkest edges and lived to tip your ear to the tail? Shattered 
when you know the UC is always hunting you. Stopping by for a chin wag, Captain? Ha, ah, that's music to my ears. Let's get going. Calculating and orbit stabilizing. Perfect. 